So this week, rumours came out that Harry Kane wants to leave Tottenham. That got me thinking, what would Tottenham do in Football Manager 2021 if they didn't have Harry Kane? Well, here today, we are going to find out. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Bell Nation. And for those returning viewers, welcome back. If this sounds like a video that is interesting to you, please don't forget to smash that like button for me and drop a subscription down below and share it around as well. It goes a very long way. So as we can see, then we started a game and taken Harry Kane away from Tottenham. And that means that Son is now the key player at Spurs. Just to show you what we've done with Harry Kane, we have given him a global transfer ban and I've done that so he can't sign for another Premier League club and maybe skew the results of this experiment. So we're going to see him to the end of the season and we're going to see if one, Tottenham replace Harry Kane and if so, who do they do it with? And two, how do they actually cope without Harry Kane and who will score the goals? I'll see you at the end of the season. Right then viewers, we are back and it is the end of the season. Without Harry Kane then, four Spurs players got double figures this season which was Son, with 19, Carlos Vinicius with 14, Deli Alley got 12, and Gareth Bale got 8. So there's still goals within this Tottenham team. Doesn't particularly look like they replaced him with anybody either, which which is a bit odd. It looks like Carlos Vinicius actually stepped up in Harry Kane's place and did rather well getting 14 goals. The eagle-eyed of you will have already seen where Tottenham finished, but let's go have a quick look at the table. That's right, Tottenham finished fourth, so they've actually done better here than what they have done in real life. A bit puzzling that actually. I thought they would have struggled a lot more. Either way, they have finished in the top four. They scored 70 goals. Even without Harry Kane, they still scored 70 goals. They put seven past West Ham, six past Brighton. I mean, five apiece past Arsenal and Manchester United. Also Newcastle and Southampton and four past Chelsea, Burnley, Everton and Fulham. So plenty of goals about as we've just seen and they finished on 71 points with positive 23 goal difference. It's quite interesting that, that they've still scored a lot of goals even without their main goal scorer. Did they win any trophies? Unfortunately, they didn't win any trophies this season. They got knocked out of the FA Cup in the quarterfinals against Man City, 3-0. And they lost to Man City, 2-0 in the Carabao Cup final. But they had some good results in there as well. I mean, look at that for April. Really strong set of results, just dropping two points. 2-1 victory over Man U, Chelsea and another victory over Arsenal. Three big teams that they've won against in the last four games of the season. Let's have a look at the biggest result of the season. And the biggest result of the season then is a 4-1 victory over Arsenal. It couldn't have been any more perfect that, could it? Son scoring in that win. A couple of 4-0s in there against Brighton and West Ham. A 3 or draw against Manchester United. Three goals against Southampton. A few three goals scored. Plenty of twos kicking about there. A couple of one goals in losses and wins and draws. And not many games where they didn't score at all, especially in the Premier League, where they only didn't score in three Premier League games, which is quite surprising, as we said, because we have taken their main striker off them. It doesn't look like they brought anyone in to replace him. Let's have a quick look as well, if Harry Kane has signed anywhere. His, his global ban ends tomorrow as well, so let's see who picked him up on a free transfer. One result that has just stuck out to me, viewers, is this one, where they lost to Dunn Strader 1-0. In the Europa Cup League Pass second qualifying round. I mean, they had, a, they had a strong team out as well. Maybe Harry Kane would have scored that. Maybe that is the difference this season for Tottenham. Is Without Harry Kane, they, they, they didn't get through in Europe. Who knows? But, I mean, that is a poor result, isn't it? With or without Harry Kane, that is a really, really poor result. So he has gone to Liverpool. Obviously, we're not going to have a look at how he gets on because that would be something entirely different. But that is where Harry Kane ends up in this as well, just to round things off. So ultimately then, in this short little experiment video, what we have seen is that Tottenham wouldn't really struggle that much without Harry Kane, which does surprise me a little bit, as I thought they would have struggled quite a lot. So if he does go this summer, maybe things that don't need to be worried about, Spurs fans. You've actually done better here without Harry Kane than what you've actually done with Harry Kane. He's still not won anything, though, has he? He's still not won anything, though. But nevertheless, if you have enjoyed that quick experiment, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me, share the video around, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I shall see you again for more next time.